Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, folks, they say now the time for talk on North Korea is over. Matter of fact, reports out of Washington, the time for talk on North Korea is over, according to the United States, spurning a UN response to North Korea because of its latest intercontinental ballistic missile launch in favor of bomber flights and missile defense system test. Now, Nikki Haley, the U.S. envoy to the United Nations, said there was no point in holding a fruitless emergency Security Council session, warning that another weak council resolution would be worse than nothing in light of the North's repeated violations. This is where I'm saying Trump is tired of the U.N., He's Since Nikki Haley got the job, she's been in there slamming the U.N. for being anti-Semitic, slamming the U.N. for being basically useless and powerless and impotent. And so what she's saying and what Trump's doing is starting to pull away and build new alliances because he knows that this U.N. is nothing more than the beast, the new world order. And he's looking for a way to forge new alliances, new groups that would pull together for the benefit of mankind. Because obviously it's not beneficial to have a Kim Jong-un going Kim Jong-boom. So North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un boasted of his country's ability to strike at any target in the United States after his intercontinental ballistic missile test Friday, which weapons experts said could bring all the way to New York City, or to Chicago, or Denver, or anywhere in the West Coast, Alaska, easily Tokyo, Japan, or Guam, or Hawaii, and certainly a deathly threat to South Korea, Seoul, South Korea, and where our 28,000 U.S. men and women in uniform are standing on the front line of freedom. So, U.S. strategic bombers on Saturday, flew over the Korean Peninsula in a direct response to Kim Jong-un's missile test. Uh, And on Sunday, American forces successfully tested a missile interception system called the THAAD missile defense system, which they've installed in the Korean Peninsula. Under Kim's leadership, North Korea has accelerated its drive toward a credible nuclear strike capability in defiance of international condemnation and multiple sets of UN sanctions, but the UN has no teeth. It has no teeth because the most of the nations that make up the UN are basically uh, have no backbone to stand, you know, to stand up against anything. Uh, The United States Senate passed new bipartisan sanctions on North Korea again Friday. But obviously, it's not going to work. As long as China is financially supporting North Korea, stepping up their trade instead of cutting it down like President Jinping promised President Donald Trump, this is why Trump is furious. China lied to him. China's been lying to the American public for many, many years. And so now Trump realizes you can't use China to help us, can't trust the Russians, and he knows the UN is worthless. So he has to look at new, new partners. Well, one would be he has to partner with the Japanese. They have a vested interest for sure. He has to partner with the South Koreans for sure. And then maybe there's others in the eastern portion of the world that might also want to be. He's, of course, asking the Great Britain to help him, and Great Britain is helping him. And he can always count on the Canadians and usually the South Africans and the Australians and New Zealanders, and there's quite a few. So it is still a very, um, very vulnerable situation we have here, folks. And I, I say Trump is getting to a point when he starts saying there's no use talking to the U.N., there's no use talking to China's lying. Trump's getting ready to hit North Korea himself. Watch how he fired Comey. Watch how he fired uh, Rince Priebus. Starts out by saying, this ain't working, something's wrong, something's, I, I don't like it. 
He starts tearing down. He starts stripping away. He starts peeling back the onion. And then finally, he whacks it. You're seeing the same thing right now with North Korea. Trump's saying China should have fixed it. China won't fix it. Can't count on, can't, can't really trust the Russians with this. Everybody's building up troops. The Russians are building up troops. Chinese are building up troops. You know, I can't get help nowhere. The UN is worthless. You know, he's, he's, he's basically surrounding and isolating Kim Jong-un. He doesn't want to pull the trigger and do a preemptive strike because if something goes wrong, he'll be blamed for maybe starting World War III. But at the same time, he just don't want to sit there and let this guy kill a million people somewhere. Tokyo, Seoul, South Korea, Honolulu. Just can't wait for that to happen. So we really need to pray because it's a very difficult situation. The president needs our prayers and uh, our men and women in uniform truly need our protection. We need to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, plead the blood of Christ over them. And folks, seriously, I'm telling you, this this was not going to continue much longer. Something is going to happen to North Korea. I'll be back with more in just a moment. 